In the ceaseless flow of economic data points, a single number can ripple outward like a tossed pebble on a still pond. Such was the case with January's Consumer Price Index, which showed an unexpected pop in a wonky but important number called owner's equivalent rent. This obscure metric, representing what homeowners would pay to rent their homes, revealed itself as the riddle wrapped in the CPI enigma, a puzzling spike that has economists and Federal Reserve officials scratching their heads. For the lay observer, the CPI is where the rubber meets the road on inflation. It quantifies the changing costs of life's necessities, housing, food, energy, and so on. Its movements guide the Fed in its eternal struggle to foster an economic Goldilocks zone of stable prices and maximum employment. So when owner's equivalent rent, OER, the heaviest component of the CPI, jumped higher in January, eyebrows arched. It marked an abrupt reversal from recent trends of moderating rent inflation, a key factor in the nation's hard-won progress against broader price pressures. The unexpected OER surge caused many analysts to chalk it up as a fluke or statistical noise. After over a year of the Fed's aggressive interest rate hikes to curb inflation, surely rental costs couldn't be re-accelerating? Others suspected a methodological shift at the number-crunching Bureau of Labor Statistics. Then came the leak, a seemingly innocuous email from BLS staff to super-users of their data, hinting that a reweighting of housing types might be behind the puzzling jump in OER. The BLS quickly sought to sweep the communication back under the rug, but the cat was out of the bag. If the email's implication is correct, the OER spike could persist for several months as the data wrestles with giving proper representation to slower cooling single-family home rents versus the faster easing costs for apartments and other multifamily dwellings. Every month, the BLS churns out a numbing torrent of statistics aimed at quantifying the economy's vital signs. Most fade quickly from conscious thought, mere scratches on the civilizational chalkboard. But the few marquee numbers, like the CPI, take on outsized significance. They become mastodons around which orbit interpretations, policy responses, and, ultimately, the real-world financial fortunes of businesses and households alike. So this little OER riddle matters, far more than its obscure name might imply. If the email's hints prove true, it could force the Fed to hold its monetary policy fire a while longer as policymakers await confirmation that lingering rent pressures in the OER won't reignite stubbornly high overall inflation. For those seeking a pause in the economic turmoil brought about by the central bank's inflation fight, it would delay the sunny calm after the storm. The riddles never cease in our maddeningly complex economy. Perhaps this OER conundrum will prove but a minor note in the endless economic score. Or maybe, like a pesky snag in a sweater, it will unravel into a new tangle necessitating aggressive monetary untangling. As is so often the case, the answers reside in the inscrutable language of data, those digits, and factoids we casually consume yet rarely comprehend in full. Behind their sparse entries lie entire civilizational narratives if only we have the patience and perspicacity to tease out their deeper truths.